Yep. This is going to be the bro zone. No more mm -hmm. loud. Man, this sounds really good. No matter how old you get. Good morning and aloha for any guys. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Chad Naholeva. Welcome to the Lone Star Hawaiian Garage. We're heading to work. It is Friday. It is Aloha Friday, if you can't tell. But I'm gonna take you along for the ride because we're stopping at a top secret location on the way home that no one knows about. So we will see you there in three, two, one. I know guys, I know. Let's load this stuff up and head home. It has been a long day. And you'll see what all this crap is for. We got quite the project underway. Now, if you are new to the channel and you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me there, Lone Star Hawaiian on Instagram. You get regular updates on this as well as everything else before it drops in on YouTube, as well as I rely a lot upon your comments, your suggestions to what do you wanna see on this channel? But today's video for the garage build part two is gonna be walls. The first wall we're gonna focus on is the one behind me because it has a massive massive eyesore. So this thing here, the previous owner had installed, this is my sprinkler system. When it comes to this third garage bay, this is gonna be a very special place and it needs to be a clean canvas because this is basically gonna be the hub of all the videos we're producing from now on. Now, if you are curious what it takes to irrigate an entire acre lot, um, yeah, we have 26 cycles on this thing. So basically what that means, I'm gonna to have to cut and splice 26 wires and what we're gonna do is push them back out of the wall, go back into the backyard. We're gonna run it along the back wall and we're gonna punch it back in here in the corner. So basically what that will allow me to do is get this thing out of the shot for most of the video, but still be in a convenient place where I don't have to run wires back around the house or anything else. So we got a lot of wiring to do, a lot of work to do today, and uh, we got all these booties from Home Depot. Thank you Home Depot for not sponsoring this video. I wish you would because it'd be a lot cheaper on me, it really would. So uh, this is going to be the fun part. So I'm going to go ahead and break this seal somehow and then we got to feed the wires out of the wall and then uh, run them down and then we're going right back in. Here is the game plan. We got about 100 feet of wire here. We got a soldering iron and we're gonna solder each one of these wires and extend them further out to go back in. And we'll be finally back in the garage. You having fun in the mud, dude? I've been at this all day long, but the good news is we're in the garage. That was a ton of work. We're gonna make this look so much better than it was before. When you need it, it's there. When I don't want it, I don't have to look at it. And welcome back, you guys. I say welcome back because I think it's actually been over a month since that last clip ended. Then a lot has happened in those few weeks. We got this thing over here, which is our new 500 horsepower family car. The Dodge Charger SRT. Guys, if you're seeing this for the first time, holy crap. 
This was the best and worst idea I've ever had. But when I left you last, we have effectively and successfully, I will add, moved this box from there to there. Now the really good part of this, because we have tested it, all 24 cycles of my sprinkler system still work. Hallelujah. So all the soldering we did was successful. There were no breakage, no issues, everything works. And I'm gonna, just in case, because I'm sure it'll stop working now that I said that. So that box is moved, it works. We need power here. Now I will warn you as I begin this, I am not a licensed electrician nor even experienced in this realm. If this video does get uploaded to YouTube, it's highly likely I survive this. If it doesn't, then I'm probably dead right there on the ground for being electrocuted, but we're doing it anyways. What we have here is the socket I'm gonna be tapping into. And from what I've learned, I can tap into this, run a wire down and around, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the new socket in here with that power being drawn from over there. I also need to patch this thing because this is where the wires used to come through from the outside, and that's a massive hole now. I need to patch that. But without further ado, it's getting dark, and it's time to just start trying this. Also new in the garage, guys, and a temporary fix is I threw in some LED light bulbs there and there. Just because it was so dark in here, I'm eventually gonna do some really crazy lighting here at the top, but until then we have, you know, two LEDs somewhat to work with because again, it was really, really dark in here. Okay, so step one is to pull this apart, see what the wiring looks like. Okay, guys, we have now tapped in here and we are now finally, we finally have power here. Super excited because now is the moment where I'm gonna flip the breaker and then this garage explodes in a fiery mess. I did it wrong, but if this works out right, we should actually, I'm gonna check one more time. To be completely transparent when it comes to home electrics, not an expert at all, pretty comfortable with cars, but homes, never done it before. But if being up to code is what I pulled apart to make this happen, I'm really comfortable because up to code is not a very high standard and I actually corrected some of the things I didn't like. But without further ado, please don't blow up. Oh, come on. Yes, yes. Whoo, it's about to curse and throw things, but we're good. That entire work stream, guys, was just to move the power to here. But I'm also really excited because when I do work on things, I don't want to make a mess out of the garage. I can actually move it out here, and I have a power source now right at the edge of the garage, which would make it really, really convenient to be working out here. So we're finally at the point where we need to start cleaning up the walls. So I'm going to go ahead and put that cap back on. That'll be good. Put the cap back on here. But then we have to patch this massive hole, which used to be that. So I'm gonna patch that, and I have a little work to do to clean up some of this stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Ah, guys, look at this. So this is what we're working, and this is the photo and the instructions. It's like identical. It's like they knew. They knew. Sorry, Jack Johnson. Cannot play ya, because you are copyrighted, sir. As that dries, we're gonna go ahead and pull the cars out. Got the SRT charger and the beautiful Silverado here. Now we're gonna pull these out because the next project we're doing before you paint or floors is this monstrosity behind me. Now on top of that being really ugly over there, this is outrageously ugly. Fortunately, it's not most of the shots because we'll be going that way most of the time, but guys, this hot water heater is hideous. So my goal for this is it does have a base here, I'm gonna go ahead and shield this off. So that's project number two. I got a bunch of spare plywood in the backyard with a bunch of two by fours. I'm gonna see if I can reuse some of that to make this work. So I'm gonna frame this up, figure out how to put a hinge here. And because this pipe sticks way out here, I'm gonna to have to unfortunately angle it this way. But we're gonna make this work guys. We're gonna make this work and make it look a lot better than it actually is.
If you guys are new, you probably would not have seen the creation of this unit, the Garage Build Part 1. And uh, this used to be a super ugly big shelving unit sitting over in that corner. We took it apart, cut it up, created this to fit inconspicuously over here in this corner. And the process which we went about doing that was no plans, just started building it and it just kind of fell into place. We're gonna do the same thing with this, but what we're doing is framing up first. So this corner here, I'm gonna go ahead and run two two by fours here to the ceiling and then run a few braces here across the middle. This will be kind of the structural point because we're gonna hang hinges up this side and that way this side can kind of swivel in and out. So we're gonna frame this up and figure it out as we go. And uh, we've got a bunch of spare wood I pulled out of the shed. So this is gonna create a nice little hidden wall for that big ugly hot water heater. All right, let's go ahead and start framing this thing up. We're framed up, it's time to start putting some wood. I need to frame up what the actual door is gonna be because we're gonna swivel actually right here. We've changed the design up a little bit since we started, but that's to be expected. Let's keep going. Thinking that one day they see my name Love being a loner, always moving closer Knew exactly what I wanted to have Fear of growing older, chip all on my shoulder Told myself I'm never looking back And now I'm cold and dissonant I'm losing my innocence And you don't know my intent And now you better back down All right, guys, welcome back to the longest creation of a video ever. Um, we were up till about three o'clock last night. I actually got a lot done last night. It's amazing what happens when the little guy and the wife's asleep and I can just work. So this is just about complete. Also have some wall texturizing type spray I picked up from Home Depot. Never used this stuff before, but it actually is really cool. Went ahead and sprayed that side where we patched that wall. Used the rest of what I had on here. I picked some more up this morning, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this up. Also last night, I got some caulking and basically filled in all the cracks, went in up around the corners, just trying to make it as seamless and clean as possible. And then also got some spackling putty and puttied in some of these cracked areas between the drywall and plywood. Yes, that's drywall. Yes, that's plywood, but not super concerned about this side because the focal point's gonna be over here. Also took the putty and really tried to find all the cracks and everything around the garage that needed to be repaired before paint. So what we're doing now, we're gonna finish this up with that texturizing spray, but before that, I need to move the truck out of the garage. So here we go. As that's dry, we're gonna go ahead and work on some other stuff. So the house is only a few years old, and from my understanding, as it continues to settle, the foundation shifts a little bit, and sometimes you get a few hairline cracks, and what we have is a hairline crack. Here in the ceiling, I started the spackle yesterday, ran out of that spackling putty, got some more. We're gonna go ahead and finish patching that hairline crack, and we'll walk around the rest of the garage, make sure all other wall pieces are dealt with, and then by the time that's done, that should be dry and we get back to there, put the handle back on with the latch. But guys, if you didn't already know, I've never done this before. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this, but through the help of uh, YouTube and other <laughs> online sites, we're figuring this out and learning as we go. This is really fun for me to learn because that's the favorite thing I like doing is learning how to do things. And I'm learning as I go, guys. I'm learning as I go. All right, let's putty. I'm sick of always living in the past I'm sick of feeling like I just keep chasing But that'll never be that fast Just leave me alone, I'll do it on my own And I will let them know when the lights shine bright Look pale as a ghost to all those opposed I'm coming here to show how to live life right And now I'm cold What's doing down there? Yep, this is gonna be the bro zone. No girls allowed. Well guys, 
he had some mac and cheese inside. He was done. And, uh, man, this stuff is really good. No matter how old you get. Well, guys, I consider this a very successful video. Unfortunately, it did take over a month to actually get it done. But, guys, we are making progress on garage build. So this is garage build part two. Part one was kind of fun. Part two is kind of a mess. But this is all the kind of unfun stuff preparing for the real fun stuff. So I'll tell you transparently, floors are coming soon. We're gonna do the floors the right way, which is we're grinding. We're gonna grind these concrete floors down and in doing that, it's gonna have a lot of dust and crap flying through the air. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold off on the wall color until the floor's done. Once the floor's done, then we will hit the walls with paint and then we're gonna do some other stuff in here. I'm not gonna tell you yet. But essentially this video, we got this thing covered up. Why am I still holding this? I'm gonna finish that in a second. So. First off, we got this done finally. This hot water heater, I have just hated this thing since I moved in because it's so ugly. It's necessary, we definitely need it. It's just really, really ugly how they had it set up. They had a platform and it just sitting on top. So I went ahead and just enclosed that platform, put a door there. It is safe, has the adequate spacing in between. It's not gonna set on fire, so that's good. And the other massive project, which is really minor in the scheme of things, but took forever was this sprinkler box. That box used to sit right here and it made the wall look so ugly and cluttered. I need this clean because this is going to be, as I mentioned before, my, my dojo. It needs to be clean. And in doing that, we had to also drop in another power source because that box has a plug-in somewhere. So we have the power source. We have the box moved. We have everything patched up. We have this texturized. It's ready for paint. We run the wiring, everything behind the walls. It's seamless. We've patched the walls on the top. We patched this crack across the top. What we did also here on the garage door lip is these massive cracks. We went ahead and filled them and caulked them up. So when we do paint, it's gonna be kind of a clean, seamless look here. So a lot happened in this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I had a blast doing it, even though it took over a month. But if you enjoyed this one, be sure and smash that like button below and comment below what color you guys want on the walls. I haven't bought it yet. I did buy one color and I decided I don't want to go with it. So my mind is open for suggestions. Give me wall color in description below. What brand of flooring should I go with as well? So comments below guys. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, join the Lone Star Hawaiian family. We do have that massive Mopar 6.4 liter Hemi sitting right outside the garage. We got this truck. We got big things coming for the truck once the garage is done. And we also have this Mercedes just for regular maintenance. But as always guys, y'all take care. Aloha, stay impractical. Woo!